Okay. All right. Ready? Start streaming. Stop. We can go live. <laughs> Welcome and take two. We're live. Okay. Yay. Welcome back. Hey, waiting. Yay. Okay. Tell us if this is better. We're tethering our internet from our phone because it kept giving us an error saying the internet's yeah. too slow, which is really weird because where we're staying, we've had like lightning speed internet. We've all been able to be on a Zoom call all at the same time without any lag. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know. But anyway, we're back. <laughs> Welcome and hello. Hello to everyone again. So, all right. Much better? Good. So I have 4G on my phone. So thankfully, this is all good. All good. All good. Okay. Let me, um, let me refresh the page. I took the other one down. I was able to fix the image. And we can now officially launch our brand new product to Growing Up Without Borders. So first of all, if you're brand new to our channel, we're a traveling family of five. We've been to, this is country 100 for me. So we've been to many, many countries around the world and we've taken beautiful photography yes. and pictures. And we've always wanted to do something with the pictures that we have. And finally, we came out with our brand new product for 2022. So if you guys are thinking to get anything like a calendar, make sure you head over to Growing Up Without Borders forward slash calendar. And there you can find this beautiful, beautiful calendar. So tell them about it, Julia, about the photos, about everything. <laughs> so yeah, we have photos in here from different countries. Yes. Which is, we use a website which is really cool that can ship to your country quite fast because they got printers all around the world. So that's amazing. Here's a what sneak like. preview. So this is one picture in Switzerland. You'll have like the dates down here. You've got this little hook, so it's really great and practical. Yeah, you have lots of space for you guys to like write all the details of the month. And basically, I won't show you all the pictures. So I'm going to keep it a secret. But yes. it's some of our favorite places that we've visited. And the photos are stunning. And so it's just really, really fun. So you can head over to Growing Up Without Borders forward slash calendar. Everything's in there. And you can order your new 2020 calendar. Yes. Let me see if I can find one of the pictures that I really love. Just one more sneak peek. This is one that I really, really love. Isn't that beautiful? So Tyler's taken all these beautiful photos. That one there is in France, in case you're wondering. And um, yeah, go over and order your calendar if you need one. So we're so excited because it's our first like official product that we actually created ourselves and everything like that. So yeah. Okay, now let's turn this down or else it's going to be no, real loud. No, okay, cool. All right, so let's just see where everyone's from. Oh, we've got Marcel. Hey, Hi. nice to see you. You're probably wondering where Chloe is. She's right now um, doing her homework, and hopefully we can get her in for a quick hello. And so, I feel like somewhere as well. Yes. We're in a big, big house, and so sometimes you lose people in the house, but Angelique, um, she's out and about as well. So yay, you Hi, like it, Manish. Hello, hello. San San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio. Woo! We even remember San Antonio very well. Do you remember San Antonio? Yes. With all the canals and stuff like that? Yeah. Who's that getting, fun. um, it was fun, eh? Yeah. Who's getting ready for Christmas? Yeah. What are some of your, uh, I was going to say family traditions, but your Christmas traditions. Traditions. What are your traditions? Something we do in America often is you can go to the store and buy eggnog, which is super yummy and it's something typical, but no one really knows what it is here in New Zealand. They, well, yeah, you don't, you don't really find it. You don't see it on the shelves. So yeah, in the United States and in Canada, eggnog yes. is a drink and you, most people like adults will drink it with rum and then you drink it at Christmas and it's a really yummy drink. So we've got um, a friend here, Tara from Kiwi Americans. She has like a huge TikTok account and um, YouTube and stuff. And so we're going to do a cooking eggnog um, segment at noon New Zealand time, which I don't even know what time that is, where you're watching from, but You'll have to Google it. Um, so for some of you, it might be the middle of the night, but we're going to do that, and it's going to be really fun and exciting to share with you how to make eggnog the authentic homemade way since you can't get it in the grocery stores here. Um, and then another thing is we thought we would like share some of our experiences of this time of the year with you guys because we've, we're often traveling as we do and so we've experienced like Christmas and holidays in different countries around the world and it's quite different. Yeah. This year is unique because we feel like we're doing like a bit of a groundhog day in the sense that we're like yeah, we're doing going the same back to thing. The same spot. <laughs> well, no, we're not going to be staying in the same house, but we're going to be in the same town. We're doing the same thing. Like we're starting to do 
yearly activities in New Zealand. So. Which is fun, because then it feels like home, you know? Yeah. Well, there's this one thing called Dingy Day, and we're going to do Dingy Day again. So anyway, it's going to be fun, but uh, it's quite hilarious. So. Um, so some of the funny things that we've done traveling like and having holidays in different countries, like we've had Christmas in hot weather in the United States where it still really feels like Christmas, Christmas. even though you're still yeah. warm, like we were in Florida, so it was warm. And then we've done European Christmases, which mm. are really feel authentic and real for us. Christmas in Central America, Christmas in kind of like the Middle East on a cruise. Yeah, and they're all quite uniquely different, mm-hmm. and they all have like a different feel. And of course, it's not easy to do like a traditional Christmas when you're in those countries and you don't have all your stuff. Um, but what's the thing that stuck out the most when we were traveling, like that surprised you the most in some of these different countries? Is there anything that, like for me, this sounds maybe silly, but what surprised me a lot was when we were in the Middle East, I wasn't expecting it to have a Christmas feel because I thought, well, it's mainly the right. like most of their like their religion is mostly Muslim, so I didn't think they really celebrated like the Christmas season because Christmas stems from like a, a Christian kind of um, faith, right? And it's the celebration of the birth of Jesus, and so I thought in their countries it's kind of like not really celebrated, but the commercialization oh, of it yeah. is huge, and so you go to shopping malls, you see Santa, you see fake snow, you see Christmas trees, it's decorations. totally decked out, and I was like, whoa, they actually celebrate Christmas here, and I guess it's like maybe I was naive, but I didn't realize it was going to be that like commercialized. I was so surprised, so it was really nice because you didn't feel like you were getting chinsed out of of Christmas, especially since we were on a cruise, you had everything decorated christmas shows christmas dinners christmas oh yeah buffets. well that was on the cruise so there's yeah. like international people everywhere right but yeah it was still cool no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The neat um and then in some countries like when we were in nicaragua we spent christmas there and it was because you're in like central america it was not as no but i do remember we went to the town square and it had the christmas tree lighting i feel like and then, yeah. like, this Christmas show. But then, like, personally, we didn't have any decorations because we weren't staying there for that long. But we went for, like, a Christmas dinner with our friends. We went surfing that evening. You yeah, know, it was sunset. really different. So even though the country itself still has Christmas, it wasn't over... Yeah, and it wasn't over-commercialized, no, though. No, but it was still really fun. Yes, it yeah. definitely was. It was really cool. Oh, Julia looks like a model. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah, Danis says the Muslims recognize Jesus as a prophet. I guess so, yeah. So, right. yeah, yeah, I just, I didn't realize that, right? So I was, like, kind of surprised about that whole thing. So it's the silly season, Marcel says. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. So you guys, I don't know what happened. I hope a lot of people come because, like, our live just disappeared, right? I had to stop it because some reason it was just mm. terrible. But hopefully everyone's coming back on to join us and we'll be able to do this again. So Is it, New Zealand what you expected it to be? Somewhat. So we didn't know how many different landscapes you guys have here. Like, the mountains are really big, and the country in general is huge. We didn't realize how big it was. We thought it was smaller, you know? Yeah. And the distance is, like, you can go 10 hours to get to the north, like, to get to the top of the South Island, you know? And I guess for me, yeah, people were always saying how big, like, I mean, on a map it looks really small. So I thought it was much smaller than it is, but from north to south it's quite long. And I think what surprised me the most, and I know this is going to sound really naive, but because it's, you know, on a map, again, close to Australia, a lot of people kind of can think it's similar, but it's really so uniquely different, right? And the people are still, it's a different country, obviously. Um, But we kind of put that always like as kind of a bundle together, Mm -hmm. a bundle package. And um, yeah, I didn't realize how how much preservation there was for Mm -hmm. the land and for their native... um, you know, flora yeah. and, and how different and the people are, like their accents and stuff. You can definitely tell the difference now. Mm-hmm. And like touching on that, like people from Australia come to New Zealand, especially into this area where we are in Queenstown because of some of the, oh, the unique attractions. Okay, <laughs> this is the day of challenge. Give me one second here. Let's just switch cameras for you. I know you can all see me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. There we are. Okay. Um We'll keep talking, but some of the things people come here for are like the mountains, the hikes, 
the skiing. So when you're in Australia, you mm -hmm. don't have all those beautiful mountains to go skiing on. And so there's like a whole bunch of things like that that make a big difference, right? Give me one second. I'm going to swap things up. You can go ahead and entertain. Yeah. So as well, there's a whole bunch of geothermal areas here. Oh, let me just see. Yeah, there's tons of geothermal areas. Which is really cool, like up on the North Island. And there's so many volcanoes. Can this go down? Because there's like this big black. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I'm going to swap it up. Okay. Hello from For Forest, Illinois, USA. Hey, that's cool. Good morning. What part of the U U.S. are you guys from? So we're actually from Canada, but we did live in Florida for many years. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, we're from Canada, eh? That's what the Canadians say. Bob's from watching from Florida. Hey. Hi, Bob. What part of Florida are you from? Florida for us is like, it felt like home. Because yeah. Because we lived for so long. Malt is saying, many years ago, Air New Zealand used to provide non-alcoholic eggnog at Christmas. It was yum. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It's really good. Oh, now there's two of us. Yay. Now there's two of us. Let me switch one off. There we go. And then We're back. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. This is the day of, of like technology, technology oopses and like whoop. But, but we're back. This is a better quality camera, and so we're using this one. Much better. Okay. So back on the screen so hello my crush hi Ooh, julie you've got a crush oh i don't know anyways hello from wellington rainy day for us mm. oh we us too we got poured on yesterday um we said yeah. this on the previous live that got cut off but julie and i did the walk around lake hayes which yeah. is this beautiful lake it took us an hour and 40 minutes and we knew we, we could see it coming like yeah. we wanted to return but we're like no let's go and accomplish this because it feels so good when you do yeah. and then it started pouring, but not really, and then we got in. Right we got there. in, as soon as we got in, it started like sideways yeah. pouring and like downpouring. and we were like, oh, it was hilarious. We were kind of a little wet, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but back to um, New Zealand and some of the things that surprised us the most, because if you see videos and you hear people say, like people told me anyway, that it's like the um, Switzerland of this part of the world. Yeah. So in my mind, I was thinking, oh, if it's like Switzerland, there must be mountains everywhere. But the reality is, is like, it's very hilly, yeah. but it's still uniquely different. Like there's mm. bigger mountains kind of on the South Island and then the North Island's more volcanic. Yeah. So, and it's, yeah, it's just, it was just different. Mm -hmm. um, have you been to Guatemala, your country? Guatemala? Yes, we have oh, yes. been. We went there in... 2019. 2019 beginning yep it was amazing we went to antigua lake yeah. atitlan and uh, guatemala, guatemala city, city. Mm -hmm. and then we crossed over into honduras from the guatemala side and that was really interesting because their border was closed yeah. and it showed on google that it was open and no it closed at like nine at night and we got there at like maybe at 10 or something so we couldn't get through and we had to beg the officers to let us in and anyway long story short we got in and we were in Honduras illegally till the next morning and then we went back to the border to like stamp our yeah, passports it was an interesting yeah and it's funny because on the news you saw the people like leaving Honduras and we actually saw cameras following them but there wasn't that many people but yeah it was, yeah, it was at the time where like people were like yeah officially leaving and the we country. were like going into their country so it's like it's funny we're doing the opposite hello from Merida oh cool Ooh. I miss the old intro when Julia dances like a robot <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? That intro, oh, maybe we maybe we cut it down a bit, but it is at the end of the videos. Usually we put that intro uh, at the end. Yeah. So. Where are the girls? The uh, girls. They're... Are you going to go out and get them maybe? Sure. See if they'll pop in. Chloe said she's doing her homework this morning. So the girls started a new online school. They have one more week because here in New Zealand, things are a little bit different. They have yeah. their summer break starting next week and then they're going to be off till February. So they got like this huge break. Yeah. But alongside with what they're doing with their new school called Crimson Global Academy, they're doing their online homeschool curriculum. So they got like a... Mm -hmm. A lot of work to do. Crimson Global Academy, quickly, is an international online high school, meaning that you still have Zoom and you're joined with classmates and teachers and homework and all that, but it's online. So it's awesome. You like it? Yeah. 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 Like, I'm doing economics and psychology at the moment, and it's going pretty good. The girls really like the, the socialization. Mm. Even though it's on Zoom, they get excited to, like, talk to their yeah. classmates and stuff like that. And, like, we're all close, and, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, they're enjoying it. So I'll go get the girls, but have you ever had any pets? 
Um, we take over people's pets. <laughs> Just joking. No, like when we were up in Blenheim, our neighbor's Esther's cat, Ziggy, always came over and it was just, it was fun. They had, yeah, we adopt people's cats. We've had a cat in Spain. Spain. In, I Sp- wanna... in Spain, there's like all these like abandoned animals everywhere you go. So they have like often dogs and cats just stray. And this one that started coming over, mm-hmm. you could tell that it was someone else's yeah. cat because it was so like domesticated. It would just slip sit in your bed and call it a sprawl out so anyway you're gonna get them okay cool so um yeah we kind of adopted that cat and then all of a sudden we we named we named it air oriella but we weren't sure if it was like a female or a male and then all of a sudden one day um we let it go outside like because it would just go outside anyway (laughs) and then it never came back we were like oh what happened and i think it probably just went back to its owners so i think it just enjoyed the kids company maybe i don't know so yeah we attend to adopt these pets hey from new york new york oh man christmas must be so much fun in new york i'm sure like here in new zealand it's not as decorated as you have it in the u.s and it's so funny because we're coming from canada u.s side of the world we're used to things being so overly commercialized that when we're in other countries we're like oh kind of feel like there's no real christmas going on so here in new zealand they're they might they may have maybe like one house in like I don't know a 10k kilometer that you may see lit up right whereas in Canada everyone lights up their houses all the houses are lit up decorations all over like inside outside the whole works right so it feels like it's not even Christmas and of course the weather being warmer on this side of the world feels also it doesn't really feel too Christmassy right so yeah, mind you, okay, so last night we were watching a Christmas movie, right? And when we stopped and we're like, because it was cold and so we're like, we need to go get some Christmas cookies, Christmas desserts, hot chocolate, like, let's go. So you gotta we understand, to the yeah, the whole, you wanna come say hello? Yes, the whole movie was all about Christmas. It was Christmas. I'll have a seat there. And so, yeah, we, we, we bought a lot of ingredients. So we're gonna make some brownies, I think, later. And then we made hot chocolate last night with marshmallows. We went all out. There's Chloe. Da-da-da-da-da. Chloe girl! What are you doing school-wise? I'm doing English. English? Mm-hmm. Is it fun? Yeah. Like English, Crimson English or homeschool? Homeschool, and then I'll be doing Crimson. Okay, cool. Fun. All right. Um, Mayan ruins, they're so amazing. Oh, yes. yes. So cool. Oh, we're talking about Atitlan and like Guatemala. Yeah, we had some really cool experiences um in guatemala and especially like we went to this one place um uh rio no what was it called well it was close to tikal and uh, tikal is like where there's the ruins Chichen Itza? that was in mexico um uh, but uh, rio dulce oh yeah and then we took the bus up to flores and then we went to tikal and when basically we stayed in on in like oh, the yeah. national park and you had to be in by 9 p.m. because there's cougars and stuff there and then um is it cougars yeah and then we got up at like 5 a.m. and we walked through the forest so and then we climbed up and up and up and then we were literally at the top of the bush yeah like that would be such one of the coolest actually photos it, to include in our calendar too it because was so cool it was beautiful and then you could hear the whole jungle wake up wake up because we went at sunrise oh and it was like you can hear all these like howler monkeys like growling almost it was really neat i remember as well when we were there i fell off the staircase but like by a step it looked like it fell down the temple (laughs) remember that yeah we were in like these ancient temples like it was just crazy on the stairs of them and uh it was magical 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 so yes have you been to tikal oh we have it's so neat when we have like new zealanders come in because they say kira fanu 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 means like your family, Fanu, and so yeah. people, everyone calls Fanu. you family. And what's really Fanu. cool is they say cousin. They're like, oh, hey, cousin. People here call each other cousin and stuff like that. Auntie. Auntie, my aunt. And it's not like their cousin or their aunt, but they call each other auntie, cousin. It's really cute. Like everyone's family, right? That's what you get when it's like a small kind of community, right? Like 5,000 some people here, so it's quite a small country. Yeah. Oh, stay safe from the virus. Yeah, the Omicron. I don't think it's here yet, to be honest, but I'm sure it won't take long to get here. There is the Delta variant, though. and What's that virus? Uh, 
the Omicron is like the new variant of Delta, like the new COVID variant. Mm -hmm. um, so New Zealand is starting to open up and we're at different levels. So like you've got green light, red light kind of thing, <laughs> orange, whatever. I don't even know the colors, but it means different things for yeah. different areas. I know that anyway, it's things have changed here and they're starting to open up. So Auckland, they've been in lockdown for so long and they're now going to be able to start moving around yeah. as long as they're vaccinated and stuff like that. So yeah, it's crazy stuff it going is. on. Um, I love their weather and beaches. Yeah. Are we talking about Guatemala? Where are we talking about now? Don't know which Wait, beaches. another country I love and been there so many times, Dominican Republic. Mm. Ooh. I actually went there as a baby. It was like my first country or was it the U.S.? You went to the U.S. first, okay, but so. yeah. One of my first. Yeah. She was just so, so, yeah, you were one years old, and I was pregnant with Angelique. It was interesting. I can't believe how brown my hair looks. It doesn't look blonde anymore. <laughs> what happened to Chloe's hair? It's been brown. <laughs> she looks like an Irish girl. It's kind of brownish reddish. Yep. Yeah. LA is my sweet home. It's like golden. Nice. I know, strawberry. That's a nice place to be. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really dark. You guys are so That's funny. so weird. I've got to do one more plug-in. We're going to keep this this live short and sweet, but I want to do one more plug-in because we've been working so hard on that, and I know some of you just joined in. So Growing Up Without Borders has finally come out with the 2022 calendar. I feel like we should have like this ah, ah, music. <laughs> there we go. And it's just beautiful because we work hard at taking all these beautiful pictures. Well, Tyler t takes all the photos, but they're from around the world and so we chose some of our most favorite places to go and see and share with you guys and so we've got all these beautiful photos and the calendar i'm only going to share the first one you have to buy it if you want to see all of them but this is from montreux switzerland up in the mountains yeah you can see it like that there and then you have all the days of the week of course with lots of room to write and you can hang it on your wall like that so if you head over to growing up without borders forward slash calendar you can pick one up and have a 2022 calendar from us in your home so yeah. there you go i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you like it all john packy saying who said new zealand doesn't believe in santa claus haha <laughs> well we know you believe in santa right but do you decorate like you do my economics teacher said oh no i shouldn't no basically father Oh, you can't say that. There yeah, might be exactly. little kids watching. Exactly, exactly. Santa's for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's showing up with Christmas, Christmas presents. Um, what is, oh, if anyone's wondering too, by the way, where our Instagram account went to, just so you know, we are aware that it's not up and running and it's not live. And so yeah. we don't know what happened to it, but we're trying to work hard at getting it back up and we're contacting their if support. If you guys know anyone. We're that blissly to get it back up. So yeah, if you know anyone or any connections. So far, it's just like a um, Tom, AI that answers yeah. you. Tom said, hi, enjoyed your recent Mari Center video, a free pie and hug included. Ooh. Oh, because the cake? Yeah, and then he gave us a hug at the end. Wasn't that nice? So yeah. sweet. They're so sweet. And we learned about their culture and everything like that. Eggnog or hot chocolate? Eggnog. Your For favorite? Christmas? Eggnog. Because uh, it's not something you always make, so it's special. I mean, I love hot chocolate, but I feel like... Egg, I, I mean, hot chocolate is easy. Eggnog is like a special drink. Hot chocolate mm -hmm. you can have like during winter and eggnog at Christmas. Eggnog is really special for Christmas. And I know is. you're watching... It's something so unique. I don't know. Yolo, where are you watching from? Because the fact that you know about eggnog must mean you're, I don't know, I don't know who, who like Wait, which country. Swag? First of all, write down below who drinks eggnog at Christmas. I'm curious and which country you're from because not all countries know even what eggnog really is. It's like no. an egg drink with like... A lot cardamom. of cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves. And is there cardamom? Like... No, wait, why am I saying that? Did you just say? <laughs> cardamom. No, that's no. not That's it. Indian. No, I know. It's just like, <laughs> I was just thinking like spices, like, okay. <laughs> like, you know, chai tea and stuff. No. So we're going to make it live on Kiwi American's channel. I'll put the link in here for you guys. Um, actually, I'll do that right now as we're talking. And we're going to do a live in two hours on how to make eggnog over on her channel. So if you want to join in, she flew down from Wellington yesterday and I picked her up. And it's going to really be fun. so much fun. So, yeah, let me get her. So wait, you're the little swag. You're in New Zealand. But what's your name? Because I think I think we know you. I don't know. It could be anyone. But is it someone like from you? 
Is it? I don't know. Yellow it... swag? Is the, no, the username? Is the yellow swag? Yellow swag. YOLO. Who I don't are know. you? <laughs> Who, are, <laughs> Who you? are you? What's your name? <laughs> Hold on. Let me go to the comments. And okay. I'm trying to find... Oh, I'm trying to find the link to our live. But Hold oh, here on. it is. I've got it. Who is yellow swag? Yolo Sway. Who's on? I don't know. I always wanted to try Agwag. Eggnog. No. Eggnog, but we don't sell it here. No, you guys don't. So we're going to teach you how to make it, basically. You can come over here. I'm getting the link for you guys. No, Yolo Swag is an Aucklander. So no, I don't think. Okay, here we go. No. There's the link. In a couple hours, go over to Kiwi Americans, and we're going to teach you step-by-step step how to make eggnog. It is so easy. But you have to let it sit 24 hours like in your fridge to, or cool it at least overnight to give the best. So if you're wanting to make this for New Year's Eve or not New Year's Eve, sorry, Christmas <laughs> Eve, go ahead and make it the day before. Really, really easy because all you need is cream, like heavy cream, eggs, um, and some, well, like the girls said, nutmeg and uh, cloves and cinnamon. cinnamon. That's about it. And then you whip it all together, and then you add a little bit of rum for those adults, and it just like, mm-mm, it's so mm -hmm. yummy. Like, it's one of our favorite things to have on Christmas Eve. Of course, Eve. we're not going to put rum in the kids. No, you could put flavoring, though, if you yeah, wanted to. Like, exactly. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Someone a... said, did you improve your German by now? Ooh. Chloe, Chloe um, it says, du schießt heute besonders. Du siehst. I don't speak it fully, but I'm getting there. I'm really? still learning. It's, it's a difficult language. How do you learn? Duolingo and like other You know basics platforms. like, we you know how to say how old you are? Ich habe... Ich habe... Um, well, you can say that ich habe zwei Schwester, Schwester, or two sisters. Schwester. See, How do you see, say it? Yeah. See, she answers in Spanish. I'm like, in my head, I'm trying to think for a minute. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, when we try any other language. But yeah. I know some words, and I'm getting, I'm getting better at it. Getting better? Well, that's good. Okay, um, should I run out and get Angelique so she can come in and say hello before we leave? Oh, You'll go get her? Okay. And then we're going to keep it short and sweet. So we just wanted to quickly touch base with you, give you a quick update. Yeah. Um, we're living, I don't know if I said this in this video or the previous one that we just took down, but we feel like we're living a little bit in Groundhog Day in the sense that we're like, I don't know, um, just doing the same thing we did last year because we're still here in New Zealand. We're still I'm going to the same spot for Christmas. Yeah. We're still waiting on our visa. We still don't have an answer that to that yet and as soon as we do then we know that we have the ability to like be back here again um within Honestly, a year though, so okay so okay if i have people from blenheim here in queenstown i'm content here like i i would stay longer like i don't feel like i need to leave the country like travel like i'm happy you know okay <laughs> so we'll leave julia behind and uh we'll go travel no, the world it's just really nice here you know it and, is a and nice then, country especially queenstown is international you have people everywhere they're young like i was able to go meet lots of the students from the qrc which is the school i want to go to for hospitality mm -hmm. so that was awesome yeah she's starting to learn and um, meet people meet here. people and get to know the people here it's really nice so it's definitely a different culture like in new zealand the country not only does the landscape change a lot but obviously the people in different areas change quite a bit so like Wellington has more, you know, business, so there's a lot of uh, families. And then where we were staying in kind of Blenheim is a little bit more relaxed and quaint and quiet. And then Queenstown just has this like vibrant kind of vibe to it. And like you're saying, like international people from all over the place, you hear different languages on there's the street. There's a lot of streets. Canadians, Americans, South Americans, yeah. it's like, Chandra, like everything. Asia, like you have the whole world, I feel like here in Queenstown. So that feels very much what we're used to back um, when we're in Europe and stuff, it's very multicultural and it's quite nice because then you can kind of interact with people from all over the world, which is, yeah, it's just great. Um, oh, oh, I'll tell her that when she comes back. German. I, I like how you have YouTube viewer from Germany as your name. That's really funny. Um, Do you like being really public? No embarrassment. Okay. Well, the thing is here in New Zealand, some people you think recognize you because they'll be like looking back, but they don't say anything. So it's just like, how many people do you, do people know us and then how many don't, you know? But yeah, no, not really. You don't mind being public? I mean, it depends on days, but no, I don't mind. We don't mind. 
We don't really care. No. Um, so lockdown has been uh, slackened in New Zealand. When are you off to India? Ooh, it's a really good question. So we've been like, we thought we were going to be gone out of New Zealand like a long time ago. Um, and because we applied for our visa, we don't want to leave because we feel like we're <laughs> so close to getting an yeah. answer that we feel that if we left, then everything that we just put our effort into would just kind of be put to the wayside in a sense because they won't process it at the same speed as they do if you're here. So we're just holding off, holding off, holding off, and then we'll yeah. be hitting the road again. But In our, India, there's yeah. this train I found, but I really want to do because it's very luxurious. If <laughs> you get that, you still get to see India, but you're traveling in style and it goes to all the different stops. So you can do like one week, you know, get off, explore, get back on, next spot. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks amazing. Um, live Aww. here forever. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. That's so sweet. It'd be sweet. Yeah, if we could call New Zealand home one day, we would love to. So, um, that although we will recognize we... you, we don't. You don't recognize us. Oh, <laughs> well, we do because we see your picture, right? <laughs> so hey, listen, guys. Um, because our Instagram account is down, if you want to join us, um, go over to growingupwithoutborders.com forward slash Discord. And we could just put the link in here really fast for you as well. Um, it's a good spot if you want to connect with us and chit chat and stuff like that. And I've also started putting um, a couple things up on our community feed so that you can have some of the pictures of what we're up to and stuff like that there until we get Instagram back up and live. Um, and in the meantime, like have a super Sunday, super weekend, Monday for New Zealanders yeah. and Australia Australians. And um, yeah, we'll catch you guys uh, probably closer to Christmas because we're going to be in transition. We're going to be moving up all the way to the north. We're going to be going towards Rotorua. It's going to so, be busy. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Also, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys, for those of you that are watching from New Zealand, let us know if you would ever want to do a meetup, mm. a meet and greet or something like that, and we can maybe organize something before we head out of your beautiful country. So, um, mm. now they're going to fast track migration visas. I hope that helps, but I'm not sure if the type that, um, so you're talking about the visas being fast tracked. I'm not sure if it's our type of visa that we applied for or not, but that would be really good. Why did our Instagram go down? We're not sure. We went to go log in and of course it just disappeared and it said that we didn't do, um, some of the guidelines. So yeah. I can't figure out what we would have posted or what might've happened that it was taken down. I know they have like now AI that kind of goes through everything and scans. So I don't know if something was mis, um, misled and they thought, oh, this is this or this is that. I don't know. It's weird. We can't figure it out. Inappropriate content. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know what we posted because like our content's pretty uh, yeah. PG and all good, you know. So it's just really weird. Um, anyhow, so we'll get it back eventually. We just have to like get them to to figure it out because we can't even log in to see or we don't know if somebody hacked it and posted something that we don't know like we have no idea so anyway hopefully it'll be back up and in the meantime yeah. we'll just we'll connect here on lives we'll post things more on facebook and stuff like that until we get it all back up and running so um but from our family to yours until christmas because we won't be um live for another week or two um, Merry early Christmas. Merry early Christmas. Yeah. We'll see you over on Tara's channel on Kiwi Americans to show you how to make eggnog in a couple hours. And have a happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. Joining. Bye. <laughs> now to disconnect. See y'all. Bye bye.